Hi guys, uh, this is now the third installment of the video series um, Time in Spreadsheets and uh, in this part we're going to calculate time with some other things like costs. First of all, let me calculate the duration here. Uh, it's like explained in the previous video, it's like end minus start. I'll just auto fill up to the down and then I'm going to format it. It's like I said, duration, like I mentioned in the last video, duration, I want it in minutes, so it's bracket M. And I'd like to have the word minutes behind the time, so I just open up uh, double quotes, space, minutes, and then the quotes. Uh, the space is there just to, you know, to avoid having the word minutes stick to the numbers. And there we go. Now, I've got some costs and let's say the costs per hour are $100 or euros or whatever. I would like to calculate how much would each uh, step cost me. Just for format that. How much would each step cost me? So uh, normally what we do, you go with, take the 15 minutes times 100 and that should give you the costs however if you look at that I'm expecting something like 25 because the cost per hour is a hundred and I'm uh, the first step is 15 minutes which is like basically a quarter of an hour so I'm expecting something like 25 now why am I getting one so this is a bit way too low the reason is the following is what I explained last in the last video Excel does not work with those numbers it does not work with 15 it works excel only works with real numbers decimal numbers and 15 minutes is not a decimal number a decimal number is something which goes to up to 99 and then uh, 0.99 and then becomes one it, uh, it, it whereas the minutes they just go up to 59 and then they 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 go to one hour you see there's 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 that difference and uh, the way excel treats time Excel knows only one scale of time and that is days. So basically those 15 minutes or those times here, those are treated by Excel as fractions of a day. And if you wish to see how, just all you have to do is select it and format the, uh, that stuff as a number, 0 0.00. .00. That's, those are the numbers Excel works with. And that would make sense. 0, 0.01 times 100, that's, that's what you would get. Like, you know, like one point something. So one has to pay very much attention to that. You see, same thing here. If I, if I format that as a number, same thing, 0, 0.00, you get 0.33 for 8 o'clock, which is basically a third of a day. So you see Excel... Or, 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 or LibreOffice or any other spreadsheet, what they do, they don't work with the hours as we do, but they, they treat hours and minutes as fractions of a day. So that's why when you have calculations, as long as you're, as, as long as you're working with just with time, like here with duration, no problem. All you got to do is format and you're, and you're okay. But once you start mixing time with money, like we're doing here, you've got to add something to your calculation and that's basically the way what you add is basically you gotta ask yourself a question let me just first of all uh, let me just uh, go back to the yeah that's better so I've got to enhance my formula with a certain factor and that factor how do I what, what kind of factor is that that factor is uh, is the answer to the question how many hours are there in a day 24 and now I get the right answer and why oh sorry I gotta I gotta uh, fix that why why 24 because the costs are per hour and that's why I need 24 let's say let, let me take an example let's say the costs are per minute and per minute the costs are two now 
I've got to ask myself, how many minutes are there in a day? Well, there are 60 minutes in an hour and there are 24 hours in a day. And there you go. 2 times 15 is 30. So that's how you got to think. You always got to think. Your costs, what kind of scale do they have? Are they per second? Well then, how many seconds are there in a day? And exactly that you got to put in here. Like in our case here, it's minutes. Well, then you got to say, okay, 60 times 24. That's how many minutes are in a day. If, if you're back to hours, say cost per hour or two euros, well, then how many hours are in a day? 24. And that's how you got to calculate. And that's, that's true. Two euros is one hour. We've got a quarter of an hour and that's that puts the cost at 0 0.5 and that's how you got and that's how you got to work with when you work when you mix time with with anything else like money or any other number any other real number you're always going to add these factors and the way you can find out is these factors is ask yourself those other things like in our case the cost what are they per what per hour well then how many hours are there in a day 24 are they per minute well then it's 24 and 60 and so on